A lot of people would assume it's money, but I don't think it's because of that. I just felt like you know, I wanted to try living in different countries around the world. I think this was a good place to start with. When I was 12 years old, I probably had my mind made up on doing this, becoming a chef, probably since I was 12, 13. I mean, you watch TV and you watch like cooking shows and stuff like that, and you're just like, yeah, it's really nice, you know, you could do that. I think immersing myself in a kitchen, I slowly started to appreciate produce in a different way, or even just seeing how certain things taste like on its own. I would know that even if it is raw onion, it adds a different dimension of crunch to a salad and certain things like that, so yeah. Nobody prepares themselves for 12 hours on your feet sometimes, but I feel like I've become this person, like even when I go home, I'm still pacing around the house rather than sitting down because I feel like I've been doing it the whole day. Or I need to actually remind myself, like, okay, I'm home, you know, I, I can sit down now. <laughs> Like the only plan I had when coming to Singapore was, like I said, trying to see if I could live abroad, if I could survive in a foreign land by myself. I just wanted to emerge myself in something else to see how much it could make me grow or how much different it would be to broaden my way of thinking. Yeah, I've been here for three years now. It's got to that point that if I go back to KL, it felt like when I first got here. It honestly felt like a foreign land. I think this has become a big part of my life already now. I really enjoy living in the city and I think it has become home to a certain extent. And do you feel that Singaporeans <laughs> treat you differently? I wouldn't say everybody does, but yeah, you do get, you know, treated a bit different, but it's just banter. It's, it's nothing like looking down on you or something like that. <laughs> Whatever I do, on my daily basis, I try my level best to be a functioning member in society in somebody else's country. Regardless whether you work in a Michelin star restaurant or a hawker center, I think at the end of the day, you're still feeding people. It's a very satisfying feeling, watching someone clean their plate. So chasing somebody else's satisfaction for food, it's fun. I enjoy it. Happiness is a clean plate, you know. <laughs>